I'll forget something. Your Wi-Fi network appears to be dropping video data. Switch to reinforce Wi-Fi. What? I don't think so. Crazy. Crazy. Okay guys, I'm just going to share this really quick and then I, we will get started with this. Um, well, you can't see it, but it's down here. Trust me. Oh, Lordy. I hope you all are doing good tonight, hanging out with me. I will get with you with a minute. Here we go. Just one more. There we go. We're good. Oh, Lord. A pain in my side. Okay, guys. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for coming in. And this is my name is Vicki, and I am an independent designer with Chocator. Chocotour is a high-end DIY um, home decor business. You do chalk art. You use silk screens, which let me flip you around here. These right here are silk screens. Okay, and not that you can see it with the light glaring off it, so maybe we'll go back over here. So, like these, and where you see the wording, where you see the white and the wording, that is a silk screen, and that is where our chalk paste over here um, our chalk paste is um, non-toxic water soluble it will go through the silk screen and when I pull the silk screen up the chalk will go through those silk screen leaving that design on your surface we are going to get this back over here I, this is all Dollar Tree right here I got three packages there's 30 each so there's 90 coins um, my family thought that they were chocolate coins. I had to disappoint them and tell them no. <laughs> and then we have, I, I only needed one, but I had to buy the whole package of these 12 cauldrons. What we're going to do, whoops, going on there. We're going to change out this. We did this um, last month with our wood cutouts with the hearts for Valentine's Day. And now we're going to switch this out into St. Patrick's Day. So this is the fun stuff about um, Chocotour is that you get to change things out. So I get to use the same shadow box over and over and over. I just change out what's inside of it. So we're going to get rid of this. This one was probably one of my favorite shadow boxes other than the um, snowman I did at Christmas time. I really liked him. But I can always do him again next year. Um, you can tell, I don't know, you can't tell because it's kind of bright and ugly right there, but this shadow box, put tape. Now, when I do these, let's see if I can adjust this, maybe that'll help a little. I don't know why it's being so bright and ugly. Anyway, um, when I do this, I always put tape on my shadow box so I know that it's the top is where this is going to go otherwise I will spend an hour trying to figure out which way it goes because this is cut out specifically for each one of these just to be that way so, so always just take a little piece of um, 
tape, any kind of tape is fine. Just so I know that this one is the top. Put this over there, and this over there, this, well, not over there because I don't need it anymore. And then these are our, oops, wood cutouts that we used. I'm gonna put those, where am I gonna put those? Down there. Okay, so we are going to put this saying on here. We are going to put the little cauldron, and get this inside shot here, um, down at the bottom, and then we're gonna fill it up with the coins. So I'm gonna put the shuttle box over here for right now. We will chalk this on here. I have never used this one. Ever, 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 ever. So we're gonna um, we're gonna fuzz it because it's going on paper. And I need to wax the paper. Yes, I wax paper because that helps with the keeping the sticky keeping it from sticking. And I gotta move these again. Again, just min wax. I don't know what is going on with this, sorry. Wrong way. I'm trying to keep this in frame so you guys can actually see what's going on. Kind of defeats the purpose if you can't see. Hi, Christine. Just gonna rub a little bit on there. Doesn't have to be a lot. Just wanna make it so it gives a little bit of a coating on the paper, on the surface of the paper. That over there. I'm gonna put my glasses over here so I don't knock them on the floor and then step on them. I'm going to write on the back here so I know where on this it goes. And it just makes it easier when I go to put it back on so I don't have to try to figure out how the puzzle is worked. Turn this up. Here I go with no comments again. Duh. Dork. I'm a dork. Tell. I tried. Okay, put this on here. Again, I'm just putting a little bit of fuzz on the back of the sticky transfer to help protect surface and transfer.
want to get it positioned on here so I know which way I want it to be before I start. this to be like right up in this right up in the corner because again the shadow box has got that frame part that comes down around it so. oh, a Vicky hair the prize you get with every one of my projects. And then, where'd my cauldrons go now? There they are. If anybody needs uh, foamy cauldrons, let me know. You can have the rest. up just a touch. I think this will be fine because we're going to have the coins are going to be down here anyway. It's going to not going to show the good and if not we'll just redo it okay and I'm going to use black because that'll show up a lot better on here then I'm going to use this little floral leaf clover and I'm not sure if I'm going to put that on there or if I'm going to put the four leaf clovers on the front of the the glass I'll figure that out when I get done here our black. I'm going to just stir this up. It's been a while since I've got to use them with our big storm we had and five days of ugh. Where's my... What's on the floor? Oh, I dropped 
dropped it on the floor earlier and forgot to pick it up. Hot water bottle. there and basically I'm just thinning this down a little bit it kind of cut thick okay so I'm going to pull this back a little Got something on it anyway I'm just going to load up my squeegee, as you can see, wrong way, again wrong way, <laughs> sorry, and it's just a squeegee, I'm going to just run that through that silk screen. Picking up the excess and moving it around. You don't need a whole lot. A little goes a long way. Get my sweater caught on there. Pull this up slowly so that if I missed a spot, I can lay it back down and catch it. Or I can just let go of it and these off when I'm done here. I'm going to let that my dryer go. that down in the areas that I want it to be pushed down in and here we go Like I said, a little goes a long way. And if you get too much on there, you can always scrape the excess off, put it back in the jar. And if you don't get enough, then you can always just get some more out of the jar. Here we go. Dang it. Whew. 
frustrating me. Again, I'm going to pull this up slowly. And with this hot gun, you don't want to get too close to the paper because it can cause it, well, it can cause it to burn, but it can also cause it to kind of deform. So you just want to hold it just to get the warm air. I don't want it to warp. Okay, so I know probably reading it is really hard because of, well, the pit background and the lighting. So it says, so lucky. May your troubles be less, your blessings be more, and nothing but happiness come through your door. And then it has Irish blessing. Okay, let's... We are going to have to... And I didn't turn my hot glue gun on. Oh, I'm a dork. Oh, dork. Dorky dork dork. Um, oh, I have this. I'll just use this. This is, um, this is called Art Glitter Glue. You can see. There is no glitter in it. It's just the name. Um, this is what I use when I use my cards and stuff. Uh, this is wonderful. It dries clear. And it is, it's not so wet that it causes the paper to... You know, sometimes paper will, if it gets too wet, like with wet glue. And then it has this, um, I don't know if you can see it, let me just choo choo, how little nozzle that I got that goes on top of that. It gives it so you can get into the areas exactly where you want to be without putting a ton of glue where you don't want it to be. And I'm almost out. And unfortunately, um, it cannot be shipped through cold areas because it will freeze and it'll ruin it for some reason. I don't know. There's something in it that... So, I've got to wait till spring hits before I can order more. If I was smart, I would have ordered the refill one with it and had that. But no, not me. I'm not that smart. Okay, so get this over here. I'm going to move this really quick out of my way. Put our coins in here. Our non-chocolate coins. My poor family, they were so upset. I hope that isn't too many coins. That might cover up too much. I may have to take some of these out of here. Maybe two packages would have been enough. Maybe one package would have been enough. Okay, let's try that. Oh, look, these coins are made in China. I'm going to have to turn my hot glue gun on anyways.
because I want to glue some of these like they're coming down out of the cauldron. And then, let me switch you over here. There's a little pin, and this is a stainless steel pin. The, um, I've ordered these, oh, crud, look. Black paint, or black chalk all over my fingers. Um, I ordered the, it's called a topper stopper. And what it does is it keeps the glue from drying inside the little pinpoint thingy here. It used to have gems that came off the side. This one, um, they broke off and I never got them put back on. But I think I'm just gonna order me a new topper stopper. You guys learned so much stuff that doesn't even pertain to this on my show. Hi Shannon, long time. Okay, so let's see if this is hot enough. I'm going to give it a few more minutes. It's coming out, but it's kind of still thick. I think that right there. I'm going to put my black paste up because I don't need it anymore. So I don't stick my finger on it again. I know. Well, it's kind of late back where you are, but yeah. It's nice seeing you. Or, yeah. Okay, let's get these, some of these glued on here. One side says four leaf clover for good luck. And then the other side is just a four leaf clover. So do them both ways. So both show, both sides show. Okay, that should be enough because then I think the ones on the bottom will just cover right there. And there may be one more. <laughs> oh, I'm so dumb. Tell you, oh no, that's enough, and then. Okay. I know, I do too. I'm not even Irish, and I love it. Okay, so let's make sure those are on there. Put our shadow box back over here, and that on there. Put our backing back on, and remember, I put the tape at the top there so I would remember which way, which was the top, so I could make sure my... Uh, sawtooth thingy was there because these shadow boxes there these cutouts are specific for each one of these little thingies whatever these things are called okay big reveal And of course my light's shining on it, so I'm up there. And I think, what do I do with it now? There it is over there. I'm gonna put a couple of these little shamrocks on the glass in green. I have this green here. It's called parakeet green. So it's not quite a lime green, but it's not a dark green. So it's kind of that in between a regular green and a lime green. 
Oh no. And unfortunately, this color is retired. So once I'm done with this, I won't have it no more. Um, it wouldn't be cracking if we didn't change our minds. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> I'm forever changing my mind. I'm forever sticking my fingers in things and knocking things over. And, and yeah, rethinking what I had originally had planned. But it all turns out in the end, so... Let's hopefully this turns out. If not, I can always just wipe it off. Not a big deal. I know you probably can't see them because of the glass, but I will show you as soon as I'm done here. I'll put a close-up of it. Close this up so I don't stick my finger in it any more than I already do. And let me see if I can make you guys dizzy. Can you see them? So they're not very... I mean, in real life, in my time, like seeing it, I can see them, but they are not overbearing. So can... Oops, wrong way. There we go. So I'm going to flip my camera around here. Maybe. There we go. I think that should be enough coins. I'm afraid if I put any more in there, it's going to come, come up and cover up the saying. So I ended up with all these extras. Anybody needs any coins, let me know. Oh, thanks, Shannon. I think so. This one's going to go into my cube. Like I said, um, I always, this one always goes to my to work with me. And I just switch it out. So this will stay there till after St. Patty's Day. And then we are going to do Easter. And I have wooden Easter or wooden egg cutouts. And we're going to put the eggs inside there. And then I have a cottontail bunny farm transfer. So that will be our, our Easter one. But this one, I really like this one. Of course, I've liked every single one I've done. So I don't want to toot my own horn. but <laughs> So... Anyway, guys, I'm going to head off of here. Um, sorry, I, hadn't, I have not been on a lot. Um, some of you that live around me or in, in the area know 
Then on Friday, we had a major ice storm. We had over an inch of ice on everything, which brought down power poles, power lines, um, everybody within miles. I mean, city, I'd, probably about 50 miles radius around me, um, lost power. We were without power for 116 hours, which is roughly five and a half days. Uh, power just came on yesterday. It's a long time without a shower. <laughs> I was able to go to my niece's in South and she lives in town across ways and she let me do laundry because my husband was still going to work. So, but, so I haven't been on simply because we didn't have internet. We didn't have electricity. So I'm back. Thanks for coming and join me tonight. And I hope you um, like this and enjoyed it. And um, I will talk to you all. I don't know, maybe tomorrow night. I don't know. My husband, it's Friday, so he may want to stay up. So I don't know. We'll see. If not, then next week we will start anew and start going on Monday through Thursday. So have a good night. Thanks for watching. Bye.